What is going on everybody, FJC here back with another video and today what we're going to be talking about is everything that we can expect to see in the early access playtest for Delta Force Hawk Ops. Just before we get this video started, I'll get all the boring stuff out of the way. If you guys could do me a favor and check out my Twitch as well as my TikTok, both linked in the description and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can stay notified with any video that's uploaded to this channel. So like the title of this video states, we're going to be taking a look at everything that we can expect expect to see when playing the early access playtest. So the day prior to recording this commentary, Delta Force Hawk Ops released a tweet that stated it's almost time. The hashtag Delta Force PC alpha test kicks off on August the 6th, but you can request access to the Steam playtest right now. You know what to do. But more importantly, in that tweet, they released a photo that shows everything that we can expect to see in this alpha test. So on the screen now, you can see the picture that was attached to the tweet. I'm also going to go ahead and leave the tweet in the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you want to see the original post. So you can see in big bold letters PC alpha test packed with exciting content and there's a whole bunch of content and we're going to start by going from the top left and working our way down. So the first section clearly showcases the operators that we're going to be able to play as. I do believe these are all the same operators that were in the last test with one stating that it's coming soon. So we'll just have to wait and see what that one is. We then move on to the next section, which focuses on the weapons. So you got the PTR-32, the AWM, SKS, M249, Uzi, 95 Longbow, M1014, Desert Eagle. And on top of all those weapons I just listed, there's 34 plus more weapons, meaning there's probably 34 weapons in the game right now. And eventually in the future, we could expect to see a lot more. We then move on to the next section regarding Havoc Warfare maps, which is going to have Cracked and Ascension, which I believe are the only two maps that were in the playtest previously before. They're going to be the same maps in this playtest as well. And same applies to the Hazard Operation maps. It's still showcasing that there's two maps, which I do believe were in the last playtest test as well and if you guys don't know what the hazard operation is that is delta force hawk ops extraction game mode which can be comparable to dmz next we move on to the top right of the photo which we start out with the troop props and that will give us an armor plate a medical syringe, an EMP grenade, as well as an anti-personnel grenade, which are both shot out of launchers, an ammo crate, a medical crate, a laser indicator site, probably best used when sniping, a beacon, self-defense system, which I assume is like a trophy system. Then you have the javelin launcher, the stinger launcher, and the AT4 launcher. So just looking at this photo before we continue on, right out of the gate, especially considering this is an alpha playtest, the amount of content that we're getting in terms of operators, weapons, and props is an insane amount for you guys to figure out what playstyle works best for you and figure out operators that you prefer to play as. And in general, I just think it adds a ton more variety to a game that is in such an early state. And based off of the gameplay that you guys are watching, in the background and as well as the, all the gameplay that I've seen on the internet considering this game is in an alpha state I am very pleased with what I've been witnessing like any game in an alpha state of course there's always going to be bugs and glitches but that's to be expected and I know some people including myself can be pretty harsh on games in an alpha state but I'm really trying to get better at realizing that this game is in a very early early state and that I do have to put my faith into the devs which for this game I really do have faith we all know the current state of Battlefield and how Battlefield 2042 was one of the worst FPS games that I have personally ever played in my life. And considering that came out of the Battlefield franchise was such an insult to how good those previous games were. Now let's take a look back at the image again and check out the vehicle section. And considering this game is in an alpha state, there's a lot of vehicles that we're going to be able to utilize. Starting out with the first vehicle, we're going to have the LAV G1 IFV, which I believe is an infantry vehicle vehicle. Then you have the LAVAA, which is the anti-air version. Next, you get an assault vehicle, an ATV, the light jeep, a wheeled tank destroyer, M1A4 battle tank, assault boat, and an AH-1035D assault helicopter. So if there's one vehicle that I was surprised not seeing on this list was some form of a jet, this rendition of Delta Force definitely takes heavy influence from Battlefield games. I don't know if this is something that is planned for Delta Force's future, but I was just surprised 
surprised to not see it considering a jet has been in pretty much every battlefield game and i obviously know that this game is not battlefield and it's very clear that delta force is trying to be battlefield's number one competitor and the reason that i brought up the fighter jet was because i know there's people in the battlefield series who have strictly only used the jet planes so in my personal opinion it's just cutting out a huge demographic that they could have had play their game definitely isn't the worst thing in the world for me as i am mainly an infantry player and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys this may be more of a positive than it is a negative coming from an og battlefield enjoyer myself i mainly dumped my time into battlefield 3 and 4 and specifically battlefield 4 i can't tell you how overpowered using the jet the entire game was so if delta force one day decides to add a jet into the game i hope that they can come up with a better counter than the ones in battlefield 4 not saying that the jets were impossible to take down in battlefield 4 but they definitely were a challenge and in my personal opinion there was no real hard counter except for when the person in the jet ran out of flares and they were very very close to you so that your stinger could hit them but do me a favor guys let me know how excited you are for delta force in the comment section down below i am super excited to get my hands on this play test and finally play this game i can't tell you how long i've been waiting for a game that felt like battlefield 4 and it was very surprising that another company had to do it but this could also be very good for the battlefield series because of how good delta force looks this may push ea in the right direction to actually push out a game that's decent and even just saying that out loud sounds like the biggest copium which i myself can barely believe but we're gonna stick to it i hope you guys really did enjoy this video once again let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and i'm gonna mention my twitch channel just one more time because when delta force does drop i will be grinding the game very very heavily and this is just my personal opinion but i think even if it's not the most popular fps out there the amount of content that you can make in this game and the quality of the game is very very good and i genuinely think that even if you're not the most sweaty player you can have a great time just playing casually with your friends if you guys are as hyped for delta force as i am make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you get notified with any new upload once again i really do hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one peace out have a great rest of your day much love